И я приглашаю нашего первого поединщика Артема Горелова. Москва, клуб Берн. Наристальщие! So I am well welcome Artyom Gorinov on the list. So we have Artyom Gorinov from Russia, from Club Berlin, on the list. Artyom, one of the most famous Russian fighters. He's well known in Russia and in Europe. And we're welcoming the opponent of the Artyom Gorinov, the fighter from United Kingdom, Bogumil Masnichak. This fight is supposed to be different from the one we saw because uh, these are two heavyweight fighters and for heavyweight fighters uh, they more rely on wrestling rather than on fencing skills. Artem Gorinov wear his club's colors, so red and yellow, and Bohemil Masichak wearing black brigantine. And the fight begins. As you can see, we have fighters from all over the Europe here participating. And the uh, global movement of uh, historical medieval battle is spreading every year. Starting with Battle of the Nations in uh, 2009, where we had only four teams from four nations. Now we have uh, more than 30 nations participating. And most of the f fighters represent uh, countries from uh, Western and Eastern Europe. But also we have fighters from uh, United States in the moment, Australia, New Zealand, even from Japan and China. 
They're still not here in pro fights, but uh, their time will come, definitely. Because they're progressing very quickly. As you can see, heavyweight fighters do not land a lot of strikes, but with their power and with their weight, each strike is really powerful. Sometimes the result of the fight depends on only one strike, carefully landed in the weak spot. So everybody here waits for the uh, uh, mark of the Artyom Gorinov, his uh, well-known high kick strikes. So this is the first round for these two heavyweight fighters. This is the first clinch for them. And the first round is over. As for the fighters training, there are a lot of seminars and training camps that are organized across uh, all Europe and Russia. And a lot of uh, fighters from abroad come to uh, learn a few tricks from re such renowned fighters as Artyom Gorinov. And this is a very good sign for the whole movement of the historical medieval battle, as uh, a lot of the new people are coming and would like to join the global movement. For those who just joined us, uh, I remind that uh, we have here pro fights that are full contact fight with armor. All kind of uh, strikes are allowed, so you can uh, strike with your weapon, with your hilt, uh, with your elbow, with knees, with, uh, with your legs, with your shield. Each successive strike will give you one point, and especially powerful strikes will give you two points if you were, were able to destabilize your opponent. Also, the uh, wrestling moves and throws are allowed. So a lot of these fighters have actually sports backgrounds. Some of them are masters of martial arts. Some of them really experienced in wrestling. And their training actually really complex ones because they consist of different kind of uh, disciplines. They're aiming not only for uh, weapon trainings, but they also train in wrestling. They also train in uh, heavy lifting with martial arts. So all fighters assess their weak spots and the weak spots of their opponent and try to uh, capitalize on them. And we saw a really s powerful strike and uh, Bohumil actually limped a bit.
Чуть-чуть ошибки страдают. Сейчас подождите, Илья так, а ты сюда начнешь. Я перестану сейчас вот это все говорить, потому что я понимаю, языки похожи. Ты закапываешь снизу сейчас. Друзья, не важно, на самом деле, с какой стороны наши бойцы, потому что они сражаются друг с другом сейчас на один на один. Им не нужен язык какой-то общий, и у меня язык боя. Что ты делаешь, Артём? Он фактически в пушку был бы умел за пределы Исталища. Но самое интересное, что это не понравится на что. Но зато как и Миша будет падать на умел. So, as you can see, the fans around the arena is uh, really strong. Is it able to withstand on such pressure? Both of the fighters are, have more than 100 kilos of weight. And we have a takedown. And it also depends on the judges on which fighter will get the points. And these are series of the strikes of the lying opponent, which gives Artem Gorinov additional points. That move is completely legal, it is allowed. You can kick lying opponent, this is forbidden, but uh, you can hit him with your weapon and with your shield. So there is a strange, strange pause. But both fighters on their feet and uh, ready to fight. And we have a takedown just outside the time limit. So the takedown doesn't count because it happened uh, after the uh, time limit of the round. We have a short break, but we're waiting for the third round. For the title fights, there are three rounds of three minutes each. And we're ready for the third and final round. Fighters are ready, judges are ready. 
And the start of the third round. This is the last chance for the opponent to get additional points and take the win. Referee stops the fighters as they are uh, clinched for too long. It, it is allowed uh, to stay in the clinch no more than for 10 seconds. So, and this is the uh, takedown from Bogomil. And there is a series of the strike. So, when your opponent is on the ground, you have 10 seconds to land as much strikes as you can. And they all will be counted. And Bogomil used his 10 seconds with maximum efficiency. And another takedown. Now there, there is there is a move from the Bohemil. You can hold up your opponent and uh, do not allow him to stand on his feet and land these strikes. Uh, and now I am here. Uh, with Michael Margulis, who has joined up uh, with me here on commenting these fights. Good evening, guys. So, Mikhail, what is your impressions? It's very qualified tournament, very high qualified. We, we were a bit upset uh, about your results. So this uh, disappointing mistakes of the judges. Uh, for me, it's not so. Uh, do it doesn't matter because you have to win. Uh, that's nobody have no mistakes. This is what we told already our audience about you, Michael. You're always optimistic, no matter the result. Yeah. So in here we have uh, some of the equipment is broken. So if if the piece of equipment is broken, fighter has one minute to do all the repairs. If the repairs are not made in one minute, the fighter will be disqualified. So as both fighters have their equipment broken, both of them receive three points for their opponents. So it's like the penalty for one fighter and the penalty for another fighter. So, Michael, I don't know if you followed this fight. I don't know if you followed this fight, but so what's, what is your forecast? 
Who, who is going to be the winner of this fight? Uh, I'm joining jo I'm joining the fight right now, so I'm not so sure who will win. Okay. Let's see in the last round. Well, we are in the last round. It's, it's the last round? Yes, it is. Okay. And, and, and now we could also see your comments, so you could uh, write questions for us. Uh, Pavel Kurzak uh, says, beautiful Bogus. The Bogus is in a black uh, brigand. Yeah, this is a Bogomil. He's a wearing black brigand and his opponent, Artyom Goronov, wearing yeah. yellow and the red circle. <laughs> They fight. They fight before uh, one week or two weeks in the prime. Yeah, yeah. We we, we told with Dragon already that uh, one week ago they uh, fight in Bogurt five versus five in different teams, and we thought that this fight will be some sort of the revenge. Yeah. The audience is uh, very loud, and the time is up. Friendly hugs. The friendly hugs is always is. Uh, yeah, this is a really good thing about our sport, historical medieval battle. Everybody here are friends. Despite the fact that somebody wins, somebody loses, uh, all these guys are really good friends to each other. We are waiting for the results. Dina Gader asking us if Galavina versus Anisimo already have a fight. No, they have a next fight. So we're waiting for judge decision. Okay, now we will have a result. And the winner is... No? no? 41. 37. Bogomil Masniak! And Bogomil Masniak is the winner of this fight. Very impressive fight. The Artem Gorinov is the legend of our fights. And uh, it's very proud to, to fight him and to win. It's almost uh, unimpossible. And again, 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 some decision from the judges. We're still waiting for the results. We have some issues with the ta tables of tournament, so... And as you can see, the winner is Artem Borinov. Again, some uh, disappointing mistakes from the uh, secretary. I really hope that uh, judges and secretaries will make up everything uh, so we will not have any additional mistakes. It is really surprising, really surprising for, for a tournament of such level to have these mistakes. As I, as I said, it's uh, almost impossible to win Artem Garunov. 